never been to Bethel, getting your head around the local geography is kind of essential to digging the Woodstock experience, right? Let's take a moment to tune you into some of the basics. So we now dig the 1969 Woodstock Festival did not go down in the town of Woodstock. It's 70 miles southwest in the town of Bethel. If you're like Harmony and me, you're driving to Bethel from JFK Airport. You punch your nose northwest, and it's about 100 miles or so. Route 78B is Sullivan County State Highway, the route that gets you to all the scenes you want to get to. Joe and I had arranged to crash at a friend's pad in Jeffersonville, about 15 minutes from Bethel. So the town of Bethel had a couple of thousand people in 1969. In 2019, 2020, it had around about 5,000. Town's just a few minutes drive from the famous 1969 Woodstock Field, now part of Bethel Woods Art Center. About five minutes up 17B, you have Yasker Road, which is where dairy farmer Max Yasker and his wife Miriam live when Max rented his field for the three-day concert. The 100-acre property was purchased by the late Roy Howard and his wife Gerald Abramson who in 1996 began hosting a three-day music festival to celebrate Woodstock 69. It's a way more organic than the commodified experience of Bethel Woods. In fact, the whole backstory of Yaska Road is an underappreciated thread of hippie history that we'll dig into a little later. This off 17B is a little dive bar with a big history. Hector's Inn, the original watering hole of the 1969 festival. This groovy down-home vibe has more in common with Yasky Road than Bethel Woods, especially in August when thousands of people just camp out on Hector's doorstep. It's kind of like a fringe festival, live music, great food, and lots of groovy, interesting cats from all over the globe. Check this out. Here's a 2019 overlay for perspective. This was taken by a surveyor's plane in 1942, six years before Max Yasker purchased the land, and 27 years before the Woodstock Festival. In the weeks before the Woodstock 50th celebrations in Bethel, uh, Harvey and me filled a lot of questions from Kat saying, Hey man, haven't those events been cancelled? Man, those crazy cats were smoking weed. Of course, they were confusing the Bethel plans with the original Woodstock guru Mike Lang's plans for a 50th celebration in Watkins Glen. Ready, go. In mid-2019, Mike's financial backers got cold feet and bailed, man. So Mike tried rebooting a two-day event in Vernon Downs, but could not get the necessary permits in time. And so made a last-ditch effort for a one-day charity event in Maryland. Guess what? Never happened, man. <laughs> Joe and I never even considered going to Watkins Glen. Not for a minute. For us, to celebrate Woodstock's 50th anniversary in the month it happened, there was only ever one place to be. The place where it all went down in 1969. Sullivan County and the sleepy little town of Bethel. <laughs> 